Hey, this is Sarah from Sarah Lou Yoga. Um, this is the class um, for you if you're looking for a quick fix to rebalance and reshift your energy. So we are going to focus on the chakras and we're going to do one pose per chakra. So all you will need is a block and possibly a strap because we are going to be doing bow pose um, or a variation of it. So without further ado, roll out your mat and I will meet you then. Okay, we are going to start seated. Um, we're just going to spend um, a few moments connecting with ourselves and the breath. So if it feels more comfortable, you can pop your block under your seat. <clears throat> And that will help you sit up nice and tall. You can also sit cross-legged if that feels more comfortable. So wherever you are, just I'm going to invite you to close your eyes. So let's use this quiet start to connect to the breath. Inhaling wide and full. Exhaling through the nose as long as you can. And while you're here, just take a little bit of notice on how you are holding yourself up, especially if you have been sitting or working at a computer or even driving. Try and take a moment to stack your head above your heart, your heart above your pelvis. So it may mean drawing the throat a little bit towards the back of the neck, lengthening up through the spine a bit, guiding your tailbone down so you get that sense of connection through the whole of the body. All right, we'll take one more breath here. Well done, and gently come off the block if you are on it. Put it to one side. And then come to all fours. We'll take one cat and cow, and then we'll move straight into our downward facing dog. So press the floor away, root through the toes, the fingers, and the shins. We'll inhale, pull the chest through, and then exhale. Push against the floor to round the spine. Inhale, back into table, and then exhale, down the facing dog. Take a few moments here to pedal out the feet. Keep the knees as bent as you need to. Keep the breath nice and smooth. And then on an inhale, walk it to the front. Exhale, bend the knees, hold opposite elbows. Let's take a full breath in our ragdoll. Inhale and then exhale, roll it up to standing. So our warm up is going to be five rounds of um, Sura Namaskara A, so the Sun Salutation A. Mm. So let's find the feet, roll in, roll out, and then find the mouths behind the big toe, the little toe, in and out of here, and just start to root them down. Again, stack the head over the heart, heart over the pelvis. Mm. With our next inhale, let's reach the arms up high. Exhale, forward fold over the legs. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step into plank. We'll drop the knees for this round. Exhale, lower to the floor. Elbows hinging back. Press the toes, pubic bone down. Inhale, engage the upper back for your cobra. Exhale, down dog. Take one full breath here. Inhale. Exhale. And then inhale, step it to the front. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise. 
reach up at the end of the inhale, exhale, press the air away. All right, and again, inhale, arms up, exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back and lower. I'm going to raise the knees this time, but you drop the knees if you want to, all the way down. We'll take a cobra on the inhale. Exhale, down with face the dog. One full breath here. Inhale, step it to the front. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise, raising the arms up high. Exhale, press the air away. And again, round three. Inhale up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back and lower. If you want to add a chaturanga for this round, please do. Either drop to cobra or up dog on your inhale. Exhale, down facing dog. One full breath. Inhale, step it to the front, exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise. Exhale, press the air away. Okay, and again, inhale up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back and lower your way. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down facing dog. Take a breath, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, walk it to the front. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise. Exhale, arms press down, last round. Inhale up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back and lower. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, down facing dog. With your next inhale, let's step it to the front. Exhale to fold. Inhale, all the way up. Okay, listen carefully. Exhale all the way down and step back into your down facing dog. <clears throat> Let's step the right leg to the front. <clears throat> Spin the back foot flat. Coming up into warrior two. So this is going to be for our root chakra. So focus on connecting the feet down into the floor. Nice strong arms, nice connection with the earth. Find your breath, let the tailbone down, soften the front ribs in. Feel the power of the pose. Right, take an inhale, straighten the front leg and then we'll spin it to the other side. So second side, warrior two, connect to both feet, keep the legs nice and strong, lengthen the tailbone down, feel the power of the legs, the connection with the earth, making you feel grounded, supported, safe. All right, inhale, come on up. Exhale, take a forward fold, wide leg forward fold. We'll take a breath here. And then we'll walk it all the way to the front of the mat. Step back into downward facing dog. Take a breath here. And then step the right leg to the outside of your right hand, coming into lizard pose. So we're just gonna spend five breaths here. So you can come into any variation you like. This is one variation. 
You can drop the back knee, stay on your hands for another variation. You can grab your block, come down onto the forearms, or you can lower all the way down. Your front foot could be up or down. It's whatever feels good. Got about two more breaths here. And I suggest moving around, just you know, feeling it out. Seeing what your hips need. We're into the sacral chakra now, so to open this one out, you really want to get into the hips, and lizard pose is a perfect way of doing it. Okay, coming up onto your hands, curl the back toes under. Let's step it back into a three-legged dog or just dog. See what feels good for your hips. <laughs> and then we're back in down facing dog. Let's take the left foot forward and take five breaths, lizard pose on the second side. So again, it's, it's just finding what works for you today, what feels good for you today in your lizard pose. Don't be afraid of moving around. We're trying to unlock the hips. And as we unlock the hips, we can release stuck emotions. We can let our creativity flow, our enjoyment of life come back. <laughs> oh, all just through working with our hips. Okay, lovely. Come back on the hands, cut the back toes under. Inhale, leg up and back if you want to. No problem if you don't. And let's come back into our down facing dog. Okay, moving up to the solar plexus chakra, Manipura. This is our chakra of drive and power. So come onto your knees, swivel the legs around. And we're going to come into boat pose with the legs bent. Let's make sure you've got enough room behind you. Either stay here. Or on your inhale, let's take it into a hollow back and then exhale, come on up. Okay, another four more times. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Stimulating your drive, your willpower, your determination. And cool work is the way of tapping into that. Cross the hat. The, Feet, sorry, and step back into your down facing dog. From dog, let's take an inhale, let's come into plank pose. And then as you exhale, let's lower down all the way to the floor. Moving on to the heart chakra. So you can open up the heart. Heart is all about relationships with ourselves and others, finding compassion chakra of love and you can stay in sphinx pose or we can come into bow or half bow so this is where your strap might come in if you um, struggle with reaching back with bow or half bow then you know use a strap because it just takes takes the strain out of it you can you know, use the strap to help you open up through the chest. Otherwise, you can just grab the foot. If you want to do the full pose, we're going to bend both knees, grab onto the ankles, kick back with the feet to help lift and open the chest. So four more breaths, wherever you are. If you're doing half bow, obviously, do two breaths one side and two breaths the other side. And I love this one because you can focus on your breath and let the breath move your body. Alright, lovely, well done. From here, come into a kneeling pose. This is um, where you might need your uh, block. I'm going to turn, but you can stay where you are. Coming up to the throat chakra, Vishuddha. 
And this chakra is all about communication, being able to say what we feel. And sometimes when the energy gets stuck here, you know, the words get locked in our throat. So this is a beautiful way of undoing it. It's a lot of fun. Don't worry about what this looks like at all. Just go for it and do it with me. It's called Lion's Pose. You're going to take an inhale as you exhale. You're going to stick your tongue out and you're going to look up. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do it three times. So take an inhale. And exhale. <sighs> All right, two more times. Inhale. <sighs> Last one. Inhale. Make as much noise as you need to. <sighs> and then relax. It also lightens you up, makes you laugh, um, and that is one way of making you feel better about absolutely everything. So moving on, we're on to Ajna, uh, your third eye chakra. So tapping into your intuition. I'm going to do some eye exercises here, so nice simple ones. Try not to move your forehead, just try and move your eyes. So we're going to look up. And look down. Up and down. Up and down. Up and down. One more time. Up and down. Come back to centre and then look to your side and then the other side. Side, other side. Side, other side. Two more times. Right and left. Or the left and right, depending on what you're doing. And then we're going to go up a corner to a lower corner. So it doesn't matter which one, just do it five times on a diagonal. And then other side. Lovely. Hold your finger out and follow the finger forward and back. Forward and back. Forward and back. Well done. And then place your hands over your eyes just for a moment. Take a couple of deep breaths. Let all that eye movement rest and go away. And release. Okay, so we've got one more pose to do, and that's for our crown chakra. So we're going to come into Shavasana. So bring yourself onto your back. And you may want to place a cushion under your head. <clears throat> Get yourself nice and comfortable, and of course, you can bend the knees if that feels um, better for your back. Bring the knees together, the feet slightly apart. Otherwise, <clears throat> take a moment to settle. And we're just going to do a little visualization. So I want you to imagine the crown of the head is like a beacon. And that beacon is open and ready to receive a divine white light from the universe. And this beautiful cleansing white light is going to enter the crown of our head and gradually seep all the way down to our toes. So just visualise that happening. Every inhale you're drinking in more of that light. And it's caressing your body, seeping down through the arms, the torso, all the way down to the tips of your toes.
All right, if you've got time to stay in this visualization, then please do just ignore the rest of the video or, and come out when you are good and ready. Otherwise, I'm going to move us out now for the sake of time. So let go of that visualization. Bring your awareness to where you are in space. Start to wriggle the toes and the fingers. And then when you're ready, bend the knees. If they're not there already, draw them into the chest. Give yourself a little hug. And then come up to a seat, whichever way feels good for you. Bring your hands into your heart center. Mm. Thank you for joining me on this quick whistle tour run through of chakras. I hope you're feeling more energetic and rebalanced, ready for the rest of your day. Take one big inhale, exhale, give yourself a little bow. Well done. I'll look forward to seeing you next time on the mat.